You might have seen some of these uh, viral clips of this uh, Russian kid named uh, Hasbula Magomedov. There are some clips of him preparing for an MMA fight, practicing boxing, fighting skills, and just talking shit to everyone. <laughs> well, the thing is that Hasbula isn't actually a kid. He's 18 years old, but he looks like he's five. In this video, I'm going to talk about who is Hasbula and why is he so small. <laughs> So the first time I stumbled upon Hasbulla was on Instagram when I saw one of these videos where he was having a brawl with another one of these kids named Abdul Rozik, who is also 17 years old. As I understood then, they were supposed to have like an MMA match with each other, like a clout fight for just the views. Now it, at first glance it looks like they have some massive beef between them, but you know, I, I guess they're just you know acting a little bit and overhyping it just to make it more entertaining. <laughs> Their fight was organized and promoted online by another Russian MMA fighter called Ashab Tamayev. For comparison, Tamayev is 19 years old, just one year older than Hasbula and two years older than Rozik. Now, of course, there's a lot of people who think that this kind of fight is like unethical, immoral, offensive, discriminative or whatnot, uh, but, but you know, they may be true, but at the same time, you know, Hasbulla and uh, Rozik themselves, they, you know, enjoy it, so to say, they have built their brands off of these kinds of things and, you know, they're gonna have any, they're gonna have followers regardless of um, what they're doing, they're just, you know, they're posting online and uh, yeah, they seem to enjoy it themselves. <laughs> so why is Hasbulla so small at the age of 18? There hasn't been any public announcement about the specific disease Hasbulla has, but it's speculated that Hasbulla and Rozik both have a genetic disorder called growth hormone deficiency that inhibits the production of growth hormone via the pituitary gland. It stunts their growth and prevents physical development other children go through, like growing in height, puberty, deepening of the voice, bone enhancement, muscle development, etc. So physically, they stay as a child in terms of the physical features, because of that's before their body would start to like ramp up its uh, growth hormone production. They may also have a form of dwarfism like other known people such as Peter Dinklage from uh, Game of Thrones. However, Hasbulla is even smaller than the average person with dwarfism. Hasbulla is around 3 feet 4 inches or 101 centimeters, but the average person with dwarfism is about 4 feet or 130 centimeters. And uh, Hasbulla's weight is around 16 kilograms, so he's a bit still a bit shorter and smaller than the average person with dwarfism. Growth hormone, also known as somatotropin, is a peptide hormone produced by the pituitary gland in the brain that promotes cell growth, cell replication and regeneration. Growth hormone stimulates the production of IGF-1 that has anabolic effects on muscle tissue and bone. Children have very high levels of growth hormone, which is one of the reasons they're growing at such an accelerated rate in their youth. Adults also produce growth hormone, but their physical growth halts around their 20s. Growth hormone deficiency can be present at birth or develop later in life. Sometimes it's temporary, sometimes permanent. It doesn't usually impair growth until the first few months or years of life. The main cause of growth hormone deficiency is genetics, physical trauma or even some infections. In most cases, it has to do with inadequate pituitary hormone production or problems with the pituitary gland. This condition affects about 1 in 7,000 people in both males and females. It can be treated with growth hormone replacement therapy, where you inject growth hormone. Children who have been diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency and then prescribed growth hormone injections can even catch up to normal weight and height in a few years. The Argentinian football player Lionel Messi was also said to have been diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency at the age of 10, but he was treated with growth hormone injections. I don't know specifically whether or not injecting growth hormone in adulthood would work, but I think that, you know, it probably doesn't and it's too late to actually see like some uh, visible or no significant changes in your height if you start injecting growth hormone in your adulthood. <laughs> there are actually growth hormone mutations or disorders that promote the opposite, gigantism and excessive growth. The most famous example is probably the professional wrestler Andre the Giant, who was 7 feet 4 inches or 224 centimeters and weighed 520 pounds or 236 kilograms. Andre the Giant had a growth hormone disorder called acromegaly that causes gigantism through excessive production of growth hormone. This not only results in greater height and body mass, but also has many other health problems. Excessive size, as well as excessive growth hormone production, promote things like high blood sugar, diabetes, high blood pressure, headaches, vision problems, risk of stroke, heart attacks, and chronic fatigue. Andre the Giant died at the age of 46 to congestive heart failure, probably due to a combination of these factors. 
He was also notorious for drinking insane amounts of alcohol. There are stories of him drinking over 100 beers and 20 bottles of wine in one sitting. In 95% of the cases, acromegaly is caused by a benign tumor known as pituitary adenoma that starts producing excessive growth hormone. Treatment includes surgical removal of the tumor, radiation therapy or different medications. A lot of the time some people ask me, you know, um, is there a way to boost my growth? Is there a way to increase my height, get taller, even in my 20s, etc. So uh, I think that, you know, <laughs> probably, probably not... There's uh, probably not uh, that you can do a lot in terms of that. Like even if you are injecting growth hormone in your 20s, your let's say physical, the window of your physical development is let's say closed. And uh, yeah, like you might have been able to do so in your let's say early puberty or childhood. But uh, I don't know. I, I haven't heard about any people actually growing in height by injecting growth hormone or something like that. Disappointed! Things that naturally increase growth hormone levels are exercise, solar fasting, lifting weights and sleep. Approximately 50 to 70% of the daily pulses of growth hormone occur during deep sleep. If you want to know how to sleep better, get more deep sleep, correct your circadian rhythms, sleep wakefulness cycles, and improve overall recovery, then check out my total sleep optimization video course. Make sure to click like and subscribe as well for future videos about similar topics. Thanks for watching. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes.